Nie? Hi guys and welcome to Norway, I must say. And the first stop, yeah, we're here in Oslo and we're here at Gunnarlöka. And of course, our first place you're gonna check out, uh, it, it, it's uh, Django Jazz Bar. It's a lovely jazz bar uh, where uh, you can experience a cozy atmosphere and uh, a lovely jazz concert. And uh, I really, really, really recommend the Gin Fizz. Oh, <laughs> you do? Yeah, 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 actually I do too. Yeah. But have that in mind, if you're coming here, as a tourist, it's gonna cost you. It's yeah. uh, it's uh, it's a known thing that Norway is an expensive country to yeah. go to. And if you're going to Vegas, favorite the gin fish, but I really uh, recommend. It's gonna cost like 17, 18 dollars, and uh, that's pretty expensive. And and if you're a t t if you're a Thailand, Thailand man, it's uh, gin fish uh, probably gonna be around 650 baht. 650 baht, that doesn't sound much, but for a Thailand man, with, with an average Thailand man salary, it's, it's a very high fortune. And as a, com a computer programmer in Thailand, earns around 16,000 baht a month. That means that a Thailand computer programmer earns only 600 baht a day after taxes. And that means that even if a Thailand man works hard all day programming computers, he still can't get one gin fish. Whereas an average Norwegian can afford around 10 gin fish one day salary. That's probably why we don't have Thailand man coming here to Norway because it's going to cost a fortune for the Thailand man to come to Norway because the Thailand man has not much money that we have in Norway and the Thailand man is really poor and the Thailand man is going to have to stay at home because if he's going here, he's going to have a gin fist. It's, as you say, it's going to be 650 baht. Even if, even if you can afford the plane ticket and uh, the uh, airport train... You and, can't! And it puts yourself in a little hotel the, and... And then on top of it all, you're gonna have a two or three gin fish. You better enjoy them, because your life is over. Hello, Thailand man. Take a look at this. You ain't never gonna be here. This cozy market for a Thailand man? No. 7-Eleven, if, you, if you're a Thailand man and buy one thing from 7-Eleven, see you in heaven, because it's gonna kill you, economically. And if you see this number, if that's zero kroners, and even zero kroners, it's like 450 baht. If you're a Thailand man and you're coming to Norway and you're drooling after this car, you don't have to do that because you can't afford it if you're a Thailand man. The only thing you can afford on this car if you're a Thailand man is this little thing, this, this plastic cup here, this little thing. This is what we in, in Norway we call a piss, a piss lunch. And even this uh, lunch you can't afford with your last money. So if you're a Thailand man, stay at home and eat the peace lunch over there. Next time we're gonna check out Cheer. That's Oslo's best gin bar. They have over 250 uh, gin drinks on the menu and I, re I, re I really recommend the gin and tonic. Yeah?